Hi, Cisco finally announced the blueprint changes that they're going to apply on the security and enterprise track exams. Uh, so if you're studying for these exams or you plan to take these exams in the future, uh, my advice is that you take a look at this blueprint uh, to see how it uh, differentiates from the current version before Cisco updates uh, the exams. If you're not familiar with this, Cisco has been doing this um, for some time now so um, every three to four months they're going to uh, go through this life cycle where they're going to review the exams they're going to announce the changes and they're going to actually make the changes on the exams so i'm going to share the link to this article in the video description so you can take a look in more detail now cisco announced these uh i believe this week and uh, so depending when you see this video um, currently i'm recording this on march 2023 so expect the changes to take place around uh may uh around may to july of this year and we're just going to take a look at the enterprise track and so we're going to take a look at uh, the exams uh like nrc sd1 and encore and also the CCIE uh, protocol exam, uh, or the, more precisely, the CCIE lab exam. So starting with the CCNP enterprise exams, uh, we'll start with the ANCOR, that's the core exam on the enterprise track. So if we take a look at the ANCOR description compared to the previous version, architecture, virtualization, infrastructure, network assurance, uh, they remain identical now they added some technologies uh, related to wireless uh, they also added uh, adjacency tables that should be related to probably BGP so PBR, RPF, uh, sparring tree enhancement and some of the things that were removed are related to EAP, uh, syslog and netflow now, if I take a look at the current version and the new one, uh, for instance, uh, enterprise network design such as two tie, three tie, and the new topic is high level enterprise network design, analyze design principles, uh, differentiate between on prem and cloud infrastructure. So, my take on this is it's actually not different. Uh, it's just Cisco messing with the words uh, because for instance if you take a look at different the bullet point 1.7 differentiate hardware and software switching mechanism and if we see the updated one describe hardware and software switching mechanisms such as CF, CAM, TCAM this is the same thing because if I were studying for hardware and software switching options I should already be studying all of these topics. Okay, SAF, CAM, TCAM, FIB, RIB, and adjacency tables, and everything related to hardware and switching mechanism. Uh, that's the way I study, okay? Uh, because at the end of the day, you don't know what's you don't know what you might expect in the exam. And some of the questions actually uh, they can be delivered in a way uh, that they want to know if you what do you don't know about that specific topic okay something around those lines so i don't consider it as a change and the same applies for uh the other topics for instance uh 3.2a compare the routing concepts of ERGP and ospf advanced distance vector versus link state load balancing and so on so now if you look at the updated uh, version compare routing concepts of EJP and SPF. Again, I should be studying everything related to both protocols, okay? EJP and SPF. So I don't think that's a huge change per se. Uh, so I should be comfortable on taking the exam uh, in case I will do the, the new version. And the same applies for the other topics. Uh, and we can see uh, this tier for NTP, multicast, uh, monitoring. Uh, what they're referring to is that they remove now uh, the syslog or netflow. 
and now you only should focus only on flexible net flow again if i were starting for this i should already be familiar with these different options net flow and flexible net flow uh, if we take a look at the other track uh, let's see and nursing it's most the same thing so it's just different words but essentially if you're studying the technology you should already be familiar with some of these topics now let's take a look at bgp for instance so troubleshoot bgp internal and external uh, address families ipv4 ipv6 neighbor relationship and authentication path preference rough reflector policies and if we look the updated is troubleshoot bgp internal external unicast and vrf flight uh, if i were studying bgp i should already be studying mp bgp that's mod protocol bgp so i wouldn't say that's a new thing if you're studying uh, for these exams address famous ipv4 and ipv6 uh, neighbor relationship path preference rough reflector policies and so on so again it's all the same uh, from a uh, technology perspective uh, that shouldn't surprise me now if we take a look at sd uh the sd is where i think there is a lot a lot happening so we we see major changes and one of them is uh if we take a look at the sd1 architecture and components from point one dot one dot a until uh, bfd that's all the same but now we have multi-region fabric and why do i say the sd1 that's the one that you should actually uh, pay more attention in case you're planning to take this exam because the sd1 uh, solution or the software has been updated regularly uh, i don't know what's the current version now but there are some features that you didn't have in previous versions let's say version 18 and 19 20 and so as the software code changes new features are added and this is not the same for ehrp bgp or spf uh, they still the same so for sd1 definitely you should uh, have to review your strategy in case you're studying for this exam and we see new things like multi-region multi-cloud and what else so dc and configuration groups feature profiles and workflows so that's i believe where i saw uh most of the changes and also the application quality of experience again because the software was updated and we're essentially talking about the manage here uh besides that i don't see much to worry about uh but definitely sd1 that's the the certification that i believe uh it will affect your studies so i would consider uh reviewing your studies for this exam now cisco also added a new exam and let's see that's design no i believe it's at the end of the page so that should be the new one so designing and implementing cloud connectivity now this new exam i think it's very interesting because it shows that cisco wants uh their professionals or professionals with their credentials to be able to not only uh deploy and manage solutions on prem but also should be able to deploy on cloud and cisco uh want to validate and certify uh individuals with those skills so probably I'll take a look at this in more detail, uh, this new certification. Now, as for the CCIE Enterprise, uh, let's take a look. Again, uh, there isn't much that I can say it's changed that is not related with software. And we can see that it starts with the SDA and we know SDA does the software, the final access solution uh, for campus networks and in this solution we have dnac that has been uh, updated also to new versions that have different features so it kind of makes sense that cisco want to test the professionals on these new features as well most of the things are the same 
so it's just a matter of taking a look at the new features that were added on the current uh, version code so i believe that cisco already mentions this so let's see guest shell so probably yes that's where we have so i see these are some of the things that were removed okay so yes that's what i want to share with you uh for the ios xe is the version code 70.9 for sd1 that's 20.9 and for dnac that's 20.3 now if i were to take these exams let's say for instance encore and nrc i don't see much change on the technologies i would be comfortable i, I wouldn't worry um with the new changes on the blueprints uh, but i wouldn't say the same for sd1 because they are updating the questions uh, according to the software and right now it's 20 i believe 20.9 if they consider this to be a stable release and the same applies for the ccie lab exam uh, that's where you also expect to see different uh, requirements on different features related to sd1 and dnac so just watch out for these two sd1 and uh, the ccie ei lab as for nrc and uh encore i would say just keep calm okay Okay, that's my take on it. I hope you found this helpful and until the next time, take care.